We now know the identity of the police sniper who ended last month's Waterloo standoff. DeKalb County has been awarded money from the state for a new community corrections program. And you might see some delays in traffic as bridge work gets underway for the I-69 and County Road 11A reconstruction project. I'm Taylor Brooks. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Grab your W-2s and head over to Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. We'll do your taxes for free and apply your refund right now as a down payment on a new car or truck. Then we'll match your down payment up to $500. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Police Trooper Brian Duncan has been identified as the police sniper who shot and killed a man last month during a DeKalb County standoff. The incident happened at Don King's home in Waterloo when her estranged husband, Wayne, shot her and held her at bay for five and a half hours. King refused all police requests to surrender, and that's when Trooper Duncan fired a single shot into the house, killing the gunman. Don King was taken to a Fort Wayne hospital with severe injuries. King's death was ruled as a homicide after an autopsy results showed that he had died of a single gunshot wound to the head. Toxicology tests are pending and they will determine whether King was under the influence of drugs or alcohol on the day of the standoff. The event remains under investigation. Police are saying that it was a culmination of domestic disputes between the couple who had planned to get a divorce. And the Kendallville Mayor's Youth Advisory Council will be hosting a sheriff's debate this Thursday at East Noble High School's Cole Auditorium. The debate will begin at 8 a.m. and will run for about an hour. Noble County Sheriff primary candidates Max Weber, Doug Harp, and Les Allgood will be in attendance to voice their views and answer questions on a variety of issues. This event is open to the public, and for more information, contact Mayor Hanshu at 260-347-0352. And DeKalb County will receive over $270,000 in state funding for a new community corrections program that was approved last month by the County Council. The program will be aimed to divert nonviolent offenders from serving prison terms and instead be required to complete home detention, community transitions, and day reporting. The hope is to also ease the overcrowding of the DeKalb County Jail. With the new program comes an opening for an executive director to oversee it. The resumes will be accepted through April 19th and will be reviewed by an executive committee of the advisory board. The goal is to have the program up and running by July. And you'll encounter some traffic delays over the next few weeks as crews work to reconstruct the bridge over County Road 11A on I-69 in DeKalb County. Both northbound and southbound lanes of I-69 will be restricted to one lane during the project. On Wednesday, nighttime demolition will take place and traffic will be detoured on the on and off ramps at exit 126. After 5 a.m., traffic should resume to normal. County Road 11A will be closed all day Wednesday as well and reopen on Thursday to one lane traffic in both directions. Tune into the Froggy Morning Show for daily and up to the minute traffic updates and your morning traffic reports. And that's the news for now. Find more news at ilovefroggy.com. I'm Taylor Brooks. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.